Foundations, 12 Biblical Truths to Shape a Family. Foundation 2. Hate sin, especially your own. Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Romans chapter 12, verse 9. Day 1. Everyone's got symptoms. If you woke up with a headache and a fever and couldn't keep your breakfast down, you'd certainly conclude that you were sick. Those symptoms are unmistakable signs that you have an unwanted stomach bug or virus. Symptoms can tell a lot about what's going on inside of us. When it comes to sin, there are symptoms too. Some are obvious, like telling lies or yelling, but some like wanting our own way, are subtle. One thing we all know for sure is how to please ourselves. We are easily in tune with what we like and don't like. And our default is to put ourselves first. Thinking of our own needs comes naturally. And while it is not sin to take care of ourselves, it's certainly sin when we are ruled by our desire for our own way. Sin is failing to believe God's roles are best and choosing to live by our own roles instead. God gave Adam and Eve the freedom to eat from any tree in the garden except one. He told them they were not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you're familiar with the story, you know they didn't choose to obey God. They chose their own way, and ever since then, people have made the same choice to rule themselves rather than be ruled by God. Some of the symptoms of our sinfulness are visible, but the actual weight of our sin can be hard to see from the outside. Have you ever covered up a lie with more lies? Have you talked badly about someone behind their back? but pretended to be friendly in person? You see, we hide many of sin's worst symptoms, acting out our best self for others to see. Some symptoms are hidden even from our own eyes until a circumstance reveals them. In the same way, a cough is but an outward sign that something is not well inside. Our outward symptoms of sin are a sign of something deeper. If we are to hate our sin, we must recognize it as a much bigger problem than it appears. No one is exempt. No one gets a pass. Though our symptoms may look different, they reveal the bigger problem we each have on the inside. In a world that often downplays the symptoms and makes light of sin, God makes it clear that we are to take sin seriously and trust Jesus for the remedy. To dwell on, we need to recognize our real condition as sinners. To discuss, when was the last time you were sick with an illness? What were your symptoms? What are some symptoms that reveal the problem of sin in your life? To memorize, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 3, verse 23.